today we're going to be finding out which white grocery chain has the best ready-made sushi. I went to four different places, Vons, Whole Foods, Sprouts, and Winko Foods. And I know what you guys are thinking, where's Trader Joe's? Well, I went to Trader Joe's and they didn't have any sushi. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Let's try it out. This one was from Vons. Uh, $8 as you can see I'm looking forward to this and it better be good because for $8 you can get a full meal somewhere else um, I'm gonna be trying these twice you know one plain and then one with wasabi soy sauce just to see how it tastes all right let's get into it I guess guys uh, first bite going for one of these I laying down Let's try it out, see how it is. Hey, that's pretty good. Grab another one. Dip in the soy sauce wasabi mixture. And try it. And that does elevate it. So far, this is in first place, obviously, guys, because there's no other competition. Next, we have sushi from Winko. I'm gonna grab this so you guys can see too. Very delicious looking. Uh, some tuna. Again, spicy tuna roll. So, let's dig in. Starting off, kind of like the presentation of it. One thing that I noticed that's different about this one is that there is no sriracha mayo sauce or any spicy sauce. Instead, it looks like it's seasoned into the meat we have two pieces of cucumber some tuna seaweed and rice with sesame seeds on top and as they say in japan c'est la vie <coughs> that one was really dry i'm not gonna lie guys Drier than my sense of humor. Let's get some again. Wasabi. And as they say in Japan, Arrivederci. So far, Winko's in second place. Let's try the sushi from Sprouts. I was lucky enough, I didn't even know this, but every Wednesday, it's on sale at Sprouts or Sushi. So, there you go. Spicy tuna roll, $5. So far for price per sushi, they're winning quite a bit. Uh, we're looking at some, ooh, some tuna, cucumber, sesame seeds, uh, sriracha mayo probably, steamed rice, and seaweed. And, as always, as they say in Japan. Anyway, that was pretty good actually. Mm, it's a little bit more on the dry side, you know, which is a little bit expected. There wasn't too much sauce in that one, but as always, let's mix up some wasabi. Okay, it's falling apart, but it's okay. You know, dunk it in some of that soy sauce, wasabi. Bruh. That's pretty good. I wasn't expecting it. Definitely for $5, that's worth it. Oh my God. We're gonna go into the most expensive one. Also from the worst store. I've never gone to Whole Foods and had a 100% positive experience. We got uh, 10.50, you get one sushi roll. 
We got avocado, cucumber, tuna. Oh man, God. That one is the best one by far. It was also the most expensive one. I don't recommend buying the most expensive one, you know, if you just wanna you know, get some sushi on a budget. You're gonna spend like a few extra dollars and get it better from a restaurant. But you know, for what it is, it's pretty good. Yeah. I just was thinking that was the best one. You know what, guys? Let's let's just put these in our ranking. So first place, by a long shot, we got a uh, Whole Foods. Then we got Sprouts. Then we have uh, Vons, and then in last place we got Winko. I did a shout out of the week, but I did a shout out of the video, but we lost that footage too. So the shout out for this video. Go to Colonel Sanders. Come on, round of applause. Give him a round of applause in the comments down below too. I love you guys. You too, Editor Michael. Comment down below. What do you guys want to see me review next? If I review something next. This is scuff. Do you want me to rank stuff again? Review something? Do a head-to-head -head battle? I'm cooking videos down the line. Just waiting to get my co-host back. This video is scuffed. Editor Michael's gonna work overtime for this.